Now, I said when we first started that one of the reasons we do not pray to God in our desperate hours because of some false assumptions about who God is and the fundamental false assumption that we take and apply to God in our desperate hour is that we fail to remember that God is a God of grace. That's what Jonah finally came to realize. At the bottom of his rope, after three days and three nights, he says, you know what, you know what? God is a God of grace. That this, this big fish swallowing me was not meant to prolong my chamber of death, that this fish isn't a chamber of death, that this fish is a hospital of grace. That God is a gracious God and therefore when I pray to him in my crisis, I can pray to him as of God of grace and even though it's my fault, he would still rescue me even though it's in the midst of his discipline, he would still overwhelm me with mercy because he's a God of grace. Now one of the reasons you and I don't pray to God in our desperate hour is because we feel so guilty. We feel as if it's so much our fault that God doesn't owe us any kind of deliverance and that's true he doesn't owe you any deliverance but God is a God of grace and grace is favor bestowed to an undeserving person by an unobligated giver and even though God's not obligated and even though you don't deserve it he hears your prayer of desperate in desperation and he answers you because he's gracious I love what uh, John Newton said have any of you ever heard that song uh, it's not real popular, but maybe you've heard it. Amazing Grace. Anyone ever? Yeah. I love that song. And there's a line in that song, profound line. He, he says, it was grace that taught my heart to fear. Isn't that interesting? Grace taught my heart to fear. And that's what's happening to Jonah. It was grace that taught Jonah's heart to fear. It was grace that caused Jonah's drowning and grace my fears relieved. And when you believe that, when you, become, when you come to a place where you understand that in your crisis, that the pain is a vehicle of God's grace, that my suffering is not a chamber of death, but that it's a hospital of grace, then you'll pray to God when you're desperate.